run an operation called East Coast Angling uh, in Port Douglas in far north Queensland and this is going to be part of our fleet. We've got an 80 foot mothership um, and we're going to be getting two of these uh, 23s. We've really mocked up the inside of the boat here for Nick just with MDF. We, you know, it's let us play around with floor heights. We put a ramp section through the floor and it's, it's flat at the front and at the back of the boat. Um, and just a mock-up of an MDF console here. The key thing when, when we're looking at these centre consoles is you really need to picture yourself standing up here fishing. Um, and, and the key for us is the gunnel height needs to be the right height. Um, and you need it to be high enough to be able to lean up against when you're fighting a fish. So, you know, even if you get pulled forward, that's, that's a really comfortable heart to be leaning up against like that. You've got a really nice platform in front of you to put your hand out to stop yourself and you can just stand here and, and, and hold the fish. You can lean back. You've got this support here on your hand to hold back on a really big fish. And again, when you're casting, you're flicking your lures out like that under your arm. The rod's not going to get in the way. It's a really nice angle heart like that. So. Those are one of the key things about standing up here when you're fishing is the gunnel height. It's a really important factor for us. Recessed handrails um, right through to the front just for the guys that are walking around. And then, you know, going up on the bow here, this is all going to be really recessed for guys that want to stand up here on the flats when we're throwing on the shallow flats. So this is going to be a really nice platform. Uh, to flick lures from up here. The, the deck is just really seamless, just going to have a real nice rake to it running down the back. Um, there's no steps or anything through here, so if you, if you hook a fish up here, you can walk back here, you're not going to trip over anything. Um, and a real nice addition, which we haven't had in the past, is this side, the side door for top water fishing. Normally our doors are on the back, which can be a bit of a pain because you've got to try and get the fish up over the back or over the gunnel, and it does you know, stretching those fish, lifting them up over the gunnel is not really ideal. So having a dive door really close to the water is going to put a, a lot less stress on the fish um, and being able to get those bigger fish in a lot easier than trying to rip them up over the gunnels. Real nice bench seat that we're going to be putting at the back here. This is where all the magic's going to happen with the guys on the run outs. Um, we're going to call it the liars bar. This is uh, for the, the hours run out to the reef and back. This is where they're going to be sitting and telling all the war stories. Probably the biggest thing that we need to achieve with this boat being a DP is, is enough stability to have the right to, to, to be able to carry the right amount of passengers that Nick needs for his business operation. So obviously being that it's a really aggressive hull, we're going to be putting a very big flood hull in the bottom of the boat. So when it comes to rest and you know Nick wants to stop and catch fish, the boat will just be weighed down by all that ballast water in the bottom of the keel. Um, we've worked again with um, Kenny and, and Laura from Navico about what screens are going to be best for here and, and again it's going to be custom built for all of this equipment so nothing's an afterthought as you can see here. We've got model numbers of stuff, everything's going to be placed specifically where it needs to be. We've decided to go with two 12s, um, it's always nice to have uh, the twin screens um, set up, we're going to split them as a, as a chart and one as a sounder. Um, and we're also going to be going with the, uh, the active target as well uh, underneath, which is going to be pretty cool. So We're really aiming at running a top station in this boat for Nick as well. So he'll have complete driving controls and a nine inch Simrad screen up there on the top station. Uh, and um, yeah, we're really wanting to counteract the weight of a skipper being up there on the top station with, with the flooding keel, with the weight in the bottom of the boat. Uh, w one of the benefits about Choosing beach boats is the process that they're being vacuum infused. Um, the weight saving is really substantial. You know, we're talking about a 20% weight saving. It's around five or 600 kilos on a boat this size. So really that allows you to really get into that bracket of either adding more options on, um, or just if you're, if you're limited by your tow package, um, it, it helps a lot where another boat of this size is gonna push you over um, a lot of the, the towable limits for some of the vehicles out there. So. We're going to stick with 150s, um, we're going to go with Yamahas um, and we're just going to, you know, for us it's not about the, how fast we can go, we just want an economical speed, but we're still going to be able to break that 40 knot barrier with the twin 150s and, you know, for us that's more than fast enough, you know, we kind of like to cruise around at 30 knots anyway, so that's more than enough speed for us. 
yeah, I've been around boats long enough to know that the boat's going to ride well. It's just about getting the weight distribution right, and that's that's Roger's expertise. And um, I have full faith in him. Uh, after you know a successful build on a 27, I have no no doubt that you know the 23 is going to be just as good. So it's really something that is important to do to do this mock-up. I can design everything and create a lot of pretty pictures, but until you've got it in front of you you really can't tell how big it is so it's been really good having Nick here today and we've gone through and you can see this is blocked up on bits of 4B2 and got another little bit up here that we've added just trying to work out our heights and just make everything feel ergonomic. Our operation is such a niche operation and everyone's got their own little niche and their own little idiosyncrasies that they want for their type of fishing and I think that's the beauty about being able to come down to an Australian boat builder like Rog here at Beach Boats and be able to work through stuff like this and get exactly what you want. And I think that's the, for me, was the, the key selling point. But along with the customization is the quality of the workmanship and that's the combination which was the selling point for us. He's a much better fisherman than me. I'm good at fibreglassing. <laughs>